Hello friends, welcome to the channel Solution. Today, in this animated video, we will show you how we can identify that the given solution is acidic or basic in nature and what is its pH value. For this, we require blue litmus paper and red litmus paper and for the determination of pH value, we require universal pH paper along with the pH scale. So, let's start the video. First of all, we have to take a beaker and then we have to add the sample solution of which we have to check whether it is acidic or basic in nature. After transferring the solution, then if the solution is acidic in nature and then when we dip blue litmus paper into this solution, then this blue litmus paper changes means convert into red. Here you can see blue litmus paper changes to red which confirms that our solution is acidic in nature because acid converts blue litmus to red. And when we dip red litmus paper to this acidic solution, no changes takes place. Now let's take another solution in a beaker. Now dip red litmus paper into it. If the red litmus paper changes to blue, it means our solution is basic in nature. Means base converts red litmus to blue. Here you can see the red litmus paper changes to blue in color. It means our solution is basic in nature because base convert red litmus to blue color. So by this experiment we conclude that acidic solution converts blue litmus paper to red and the basic solution converts red litmus to blue. But by this experiments, we can only know about that our solution is acidic or basic in nature. But if we want to know that our solution is how much acidic or basic in nature, means if we want to know the approx pH value of our solution, then for this we require another type of paper called universal pH paper. Along with it, we require universal pH scale. Universal pH test paper is a qualitative pH test strip that gives us approximate pH value of a solution. So let's know how it works. Now take a beaker and here we have added a solution which is basic in nature. How we can know that this solution is basic in nature? Because this solution converts red litmus to blue. Now dip universal pH paper to this solution. Then observe the change in the color of universal pH paper and by this color change we can get the approx pH value of the solution. For this what we have to do? We have to match this color change with the pH color scale. Here you can see on the right side this is the universal pH scale and here you can see the different values on the pH scale represented by a different color. Here you can see the color changes to dark blue color. Here you can see that the blue color of the universal pH paper matches to this point means this color of the pH scale. And on the pH scale the value of this color is 12 which is alkaline. It means pH of our solution is approximately 12. And if the color of the universal pH paper changes to deep yellow color and if it matches to the yellow color of value 3, it means it is acidic in nature and the uh, pH value of our solution will be 3. And if the color of the universal pH paper changes to light green color and if you match this with the pH scale and if the green color of this universal pH paper matches to the green color of the value, 4 it means the pH value of our solution is 4 again acidic in nature. So this is how we can know the nature of our solution that whether it is acidic or basic in nature by using blue litmus paper and red litmus paper and by using universal pH paper we can determine the approx pH value of the solution and the solution changes the color of the pH paper according to its pH and this is the quick method to get the value of the pH of the solution. Thank you very much for watching this video.